Hello, hello, hello. This is Trina with another video. I am the founder of Life is Great Call Center slash Gene Consulting. And I wanted to come on here and talk about my experience working with Arise Virtual Solutions. Arise Virtual Solutions. So before I get into my video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So what I am going to talk about is my experience working with Arise. A lot of people know my story. A lot of people know the experiences that I've had with Arise. But I want to kind of go come on here and give like an overall picture of my experiences working with Arise. Um, I started back with Arise, I would say in 2012. I started um, um, looking for at-home jobs. So I started looking for jobs where I can work from home. I was a military wife. And I did not want to actually be out. I didn't want to um, have to get out the house to work. And I wanted to do everything from home. So um, I, have, I have worked other jobs from home. But they were more so like set schedules. It was call center work. But it were more set schedules um, for me. And I didn't like a set schedule because my schedule was different, especially when you have kids. So I was looking for something more flexible for my schedule, um, and that's when I stumbled upon Arise. So when I initially started with Arise, I didn't know anything about Arise. I felt like it was a great opportunity for me. Um, I didn't understand a lot with Arise. I, of course, I know more now, I know a lot more now, but back then I didn't know a lot. So what I did was so I could have more control over my environment and more control over my work for me working from home, I actually um, started my own call center. So initially, my goal was not to um, actually start getting CSPs, even though, you know, eventually that's what happened. But my goal was to basically just start working just under my own call center. But about three years later, I started researching more so like the profit, the profit margins and how call centers make money. And that's when I really started digging and seeing like the possibility of the amount of money that I can make as a call center owner. So that's when I started recruiting. I started um, trying different marketing strategies, different marketing techniques, and it went from there. Like it exploded. So when I say exploded, it exploded. So um Overall, my experience have been a good experience because um, I have been able to make a lot of money with the rise. Um, the possibility is endless. Like, I mean, it's no set. Like, the thing about me as an entrepreneur, because I do have other businesses, I don't like being set at a cap. Like, I don't like my income being like, okay, this is the max you can make. No, with a rise and as a call center owner, um, you don't have a cap. So you can recruit as many people as you want. I have seen um, hundreds, uh, call center have hundreds of people under their call center. You know, um, I mean, it takes a lot of work, but you can definitely, definitely do it if you are a call center owner. If you choose to take that route is to actually um, start your own call center. You can take the route of starting your own call center. I do have a course that teaches you step by step on how to start the paperwork that you need, um, marketing strategies that you can use. Um, that's included in my course. I do offer people coaching. It's a group coaching um, twice a month. Um, it's really inexpensive, but I feel like it's people out there who were like me, you know, 10 years ago who didn't know where to start, who just have questions. So that's why I opened up my coaching program, which is every month. It holds you accountable, but anytime you have any obstacles, any obstacles in your call center, you can come on and get that coaching. Um, and I will post that link below for you all who want to find out more information about the coaching part. But back to my um, experience about with Arise. Um, it's, overall, it's a good experience. If you're thinking about joining, definitely, definitely join. If you're, if you're thinking about joining and you don't know anything about Arise, then I would not suggest to, you know, do the sole proprietorship. I would not suggest you to um, start your own call center. Um, I would suggest you to go under a call center, get experience with just the overall platform, even if you have experience as a call center representative. So you may have experience, but Arise is a whole different platform. You're able to make your own hours. They have their own system on how to do Starmatics. Um, that's the name of the system where you can schedule your hours. Everything is different. Like the entire platform is like the website is different. It's not the same. 
Um, it's very flexible the way they have the training set up. Like you can make your pick your own training hours. Um, and everything is done from home. Like you can train from home. You just basically investing your time into um, training. So if you're thinking about doing it, definitely, definitely. Um, I am accepting call center reps under my call center. So I am accepting call center reps. So if you are looking to join um, my call center, shoot me a message um, just to make sure it's going to be a good fit. Um, but yeah, that's my experience um, with Arise. Um, that's my overall experience with Arise as from a call center um, owner standpoint. Um, as a CSP standpoint, my experience, like if you're looking to say, hey, I just want to go under a call center. So that experience is more so, um, this is, I'm not going to say it's challenging, but if you are looking to, um, you do have to have your own laptop. You do have to have a, de a laptop or a desktop. You also have to have high speed internet. Um, what else do you have to have? You have to have a quiet environment. You can, you know, do it while your children are at school or just just having that quiet environment when they're sleeping um but yeah um that's from a csp standpoint um but making your own hours i mean you really can't beat that you can't go to a job where you can just sit up there and just make your own hours you're not going to find that anywhere and it's hourly pay so um my experience has been a good experience overall despite some shortcomings with the rise. Um, nobody's perfect. So I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, a rise is just perfect with the technical side, shall I say, but they do have a system of how they do everything. So that's what I like. I like how you can just log on. If you, if you've taken a year break, you can just log on and just say, Hey, I want to work for this company. Um, and you're still active on the platform, they don't deactivate your account. If you take five years off, you'll always, always, always have a job. So that's the beauty of working with the RISE. Um, as long as you don't ever get your statement of work terminated, you will always have a, um, a job. Um, so and people don't look at it like that. They look at, oh, you have to pay for your background check. Most companies require you to pay for your own background check because they don't know what you have in your background. And the background check is only $10. They try to look at the negatives of Arise because um, you have to pay for your course. Um, but I understand why you have to pay um, for the course. They have to pay trainers to train you to take this class. So um, it's, it's pretty much like you're investing in yourself because you will be considered a um, 1099. So you would not be considered like a W-2 or anything like that. You'll be considered a 1099 employee. Um, so overall, it's a good experience um, if you're looking for something that where you can work from home. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. But thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.